so, all right, so next movie, Secret Invasion. Now, apparently, I don't know if this is a movie or a TV show. Apparently, what they're going to do is, and I, I feel like uh, this is one of those, uh, Sam, Sam been asking for a show. This I think Samuel Jackson going to be heading this show mm. as Nick Fury. Right. So right. it's basically going to be to stop the scroll invasion in um, um, in Hmm. We're um, I'm about to say America it, on Earth. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the, the only thing that makes it weird is they've set the scrolls up as kind of good guys. Well, just the two scrolls. So it's going to be Ben Mendelsohn character and whoever the female was. Well, no, like so with they Nick Fury to stop all the other scrolls. Oh, from okay, invading. yeah, yeah. No, you know no, what I'm saying. Okay, so yeah, they did, they basically in they they basically I mean, bad guys that. They like the Terminators. They got reprogrammed. You know, well, what I'm like because like in Captain Marvel, like set up that whole thing with the scrolls sanctuary. So I guess like they're not gonna be the only scrolls left. Is what you're saying? Right, and all of them ain't gonna want to be less invade. You know, so they are going to help Nick Fury stop the invasion, right. which actually makes an interesting show. Um, and consider, and seeing what they spent on the Winter Soldier, they're gonna put money. It's not gonna be Agents of Shield. It's gonna be more. <laughs> <laughs> Why you make that face? No, 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 no. Okay, no. it's not going to be action and shit. It's like your mouth said, mm, don't say that. <laughs> but it's not going to be Agents of Shield because it looks like they're going to put money behind it. Yeah. Where they are doing extensions of the movies, which I really like. Which you is kind of what Agents of Shield was originally going to be. But you can, t- it's before. very low budget to compared yeah. to the movies where they just kind of, it's in the same universe as the movie, but everything is TV show level. But yeah. I think. This is gonna be like a movie, which is gonna be interesting. Uh, seeing you know uh, Nicholas Cage, Ben Mendelsohn, it's gonna be actually. It looks interesting. And Nicholas then okay, Cage. so did I say Nicholas Cage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Fury, played by Samuel Jackson. I'm sorry, I was just all right. So moving on, we got a uh, Ironheart. Now, do you remember that? Do you know this character? Yeah. I okay, do. so this is like the female Iron Man. She's an Iron Woman, I guess. The uh, successor. Riri. Is that her name? What's her Riri, real name? Uh, Riri Williams. Okay. Yeah, so they're going to make that. Yeah. Uh, it, I think it's, it's it's for a demographic. I mean. It's for your female demographic, and then you get then you meet your, your ethnic quota yeah. <laughs> because she's black, um, and then uh, she, which I don't really, I don't really like the idea of. I, I, I want the because they don't have a, a young female black superhero right. yet, so they just tap their market. Yeah, and they might. I don't know. I think they might have her cast already, but they might get somebody that's a popular, you know, uh, mm. female yeah. uh, actress or something. I mean, like, so I don't. I don't care for Iron Heart. I'm not a. I don't dislike the character. I just don't see any a lot worthwhile in the way she's been written. Yeah. Um, mm. Nobody likes. Characters that's replacing other characters. I know you don't, yeah. but <laughs> that's that's a hard to that's a hard to make people like people well, when like, you just especially a character that's been beloved and been around for so long. It it also doesn't help that one of <laughs> one of the things you had to do with Ironheart is you had to have the uh, Tony Stark AI yeah. brought in to lead her into it, yeah. right? So unless they change that aspect of the story, which I don't think is going to be the best move to make. It's going to be weird, especially since Tony Stark's kind of already chosen Peter as his successor in the MCU. Yeah, but that ain't going to work at all for no, me. Because I feel you. Spider-Man is not, is not um, Iron Man's successor. I, I think that was, I didn't like that. Yeah. Uh, but I was hearing since Tony's dead, uh, uh, what's his name is going to be his mentor? Uh, uh, Doctor Strange is going to be his mentor. And this is where yeah. we're going to lead to the other Spider-Mans and stuff. We're going to talk yeah. about that too because yeah. Sony got a little play. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna see. Anyway, so we gotta keep moving along. Um Armor Wars. My so. thing, but before we get to that, my last thought on mm-hmm. Ironheart is I I love the idea of getting a young black female superhero into in here. Because mm-hmm. that's one thing they haven't got. But you, they need to work harder on thinking more original. Yeah. Just don't have her replace Iron Man. That's stupid. I know it's just a dumb idea. You know, like, this <laughs> is an opportunity for them to do something different with this character, like come up with a new origin for her that fits in the yeah. MCU. And that so, is she gonna? I, I'm not guessing she's just gonna be like so smart that she gonna 
you know, take his own role. You, you can do this. And you know how they play that where he was like, man, I can't get this to work. This one part just uh, baffling me. Oh, you just do this like this. Damn, you smart. Oh, yeah, I'll just make Oh, I made you your own armor just to make it fit you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, I'm, I'm going to die. Oh, I guess I'll just take up your mantle. That's the normal, you know what I'm saying? That's the yeah. normal formula yeah. for that kind of story. And I'm like, okay, I, I, I'm not crazy about it. And I really, I do love the idea of bringing in a young black female as a superhero, but not to replace another hero and use their same powers and stuff. You know, I don't like that. So I don't like the idea, but we'll see if it works. I mean, I just, I'm not crazy about the character, but we'll see if it works. Um, um, okay, now we got Armor Wars. Now, I love this story in the comics. Yeah. I was I remember reading this and um, couldn't wait to see the next issue. Now, you know how I feel. <laughs> you know how I feel about um uh, what's his name? About James Rhodes. Yeah. About War Machine. And and I was like I'm mad. When I saw that, I said oh, my wars, they going to bring Tony, uh, they going to bring uh, uh Tony Stark back. How they gonna do that? And I was like, man, I was like, nah, I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. they're gonna do Armor Wars with Don Cheeto uh as the lead in this. And I was like, I don't I don't like that idea. I don't like that idea because yeah, one, either. I don't like James Rhodes as a character. Mm. I like War Machine until I saw watching this animated series and start really reading Iron Man comics and start seeing Roman Machine's a lackey. He's nothing without Tony, and the only time he do something is when Tony do something. Yeah. Like when Tony fly out, he'll be like, okay, I'll go with you, Tony. I got your back, Tony. And he always, and he always be the first person that malfunction. Oh, I'm hurt, Tony. You got you, you to go on your own. Uh, uh, thanks a lot, buddy. I'll take it from here. <laughs> you know, after he get his ass kicked, then Tony come in and be like, I got you, man. Oh, yeah, you're going to get it now. Tony here. Woo, let me power down. Like, off the screen, you suck. <laughs> it is like it just makes me so bad. It's just like you are that that stereotypical black friend. You are the stereotypical black friend where you are here to make his story look better. You are here to develop the uh, so another character. Well, like nobody ever finds out what's 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 James Rose do. James Rose got a wife. We don't know. Don't Does James Rose got a girlfriend? We don't know. Don't Does James Rose got any other friends? We don't know. What's James Rose's favorite movie? We don't know. What's James Rose like to do when he's not no, being No, no, that last one I can answer. What's Tony Stark's favorite movie? You <laughs> <laughs> right. Do, what do he do on his off time? We don't know. Is, is he a joker? Does he got a, a, a good personality? Is he is he a hothead? Is he, we don't know. Because all he does is what Tony does. Yeah. I don't like characters like that. He's yeah. a total lacko, lacko. He's a totally, total <laughs> that <too>. lackey <laughs> that I do not like. He's a, his name is James Rose, and he's a road dog, and that's all he is. Yeah. Um, he's a roadie. It's exactly what his name is. And it's like, Stay in the background. y'all <laughs> went so far as to name this motherfucker roadie. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to take too as, long. As Jack that. Black once said, a good roadie is n never seen. Yeah. You know, like, so, like, exactly. roadie's, roadie's, like, he's a background. All right, so let's so. move on for, I'll take too long on that. Right. Um, but, no, but before I finish, uh, Armor Wars was a um, a series where uh, Tony uh, found out people stole his armor, and he went around trying to destroy their armor by yeah. making bigger armors and better armors. And that was the first time you saw the War Machine armor. First yeah. Rose was just, he never put the armor on. He was just his friend. Yeah. Well, he put the Iron Man armor on a couple times when when, when Tony was, like, out of commission. Yeah. But he or never had his own armor or when he until the, he made the War Machine Man. armor. huh? Or when Tony needed to prove that he was an Iron Man. Right. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm, I'm done wearing the armor just so I can act like I was you. Let me take it off so you can be a superhero. And I'm going to go back to carrying your luggage. Okay, boss. So that's, I hate that character. Uh, and then that's the first time he made that war machine armor yeah. because he was uh, uh, he wanted more artillery on there or whatever. Um, I mean, I I, say, if you read that series, it's a real good series. Yeah. I will say this would be a good chance for them if they want, because I've heard a lot of people talking about it, but if they wanted to take that Harley Keener character and pump him up in the MCU. Too late, because you, you don't want to see nobody new. They, 
I don't think nobody want to see a Don Cheeto led movie because it ain't like Don Cheeto's a good actor, but his character is just so not yeah. nobody that when they start showing his personal life, we're gonna be like, huh? I'd rather see him play Captain Planet, right? And the, <laughs> and the thing is. <laughs> That character has no life without Tony. Yeah. You know, because all he is is I need to carry Tony luggage. And if Tony ain't got no luggage, now what, 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 you got to actually do stuff. Oh, I don't know. You know, my life was all on Tony. So let's move on, man. Uh, we know about the Hawkeye movie. Uh, they didn't give us no info on that. They just, we just, oh, oh, sorry, show. Yeah. Uh, we just know it's out there. I think they might even pull the plug. Yeah. On. I'm thinking, like, the, the only ain't nobody really yeah. You got yeah. all this other shit. Yeah, and the <laughs> only thing I've even heard about that is, like, they've kind of, like, re- revealed that he's going to be deaf, like he is in the comics. Deaf? Yeah. Okay. Because, so, you know, in the comics, he's deaf, right? So they, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So, like, they're going to try to hit, again, another diversity market. Don't you know? he always talk to people on his communicator? Like, don't they be like, hey, Hawkeye, yeah, yes. You know, I'm like. Well, yeah, because his uh, hearing aid is also a communicator, so it's. Uh, we don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. But that they, they're going to write that into his character, I guess. Because, um, like, folks had been complaining that they wrote that out of his character for the MCU. I know. I, I, I'm guessing the, 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 the people was like, do we need that shit? But I guess. You know the deaf community, like, hey, they was our hero too. Like, yeah. you know, we want, we want somebody. Well, y- y'all got Daredevil, blind people got Daredevil. Why can't we have whole guy? <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right, we got you down. Yeah, he be deaf. <laughs> but there ain't a lot to talk about on that one. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, last one. Now is, the reason I was almost about to throw up. <laughs> Guardians of Galaxy holiday special, man. In my experience, holiday specials are not the best thing. Well, it's just going to be a little goofy kid show. I, I'm not worried about it. It's probably just one I won't see. It's yeah. going to be like the Lego Batman. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like, are you going to hold the Lego Batman against the other Batman movies? No, no. I'm not you know holding this against Marvel. <laughs> I'm just saying, I doubt I'll be seeing it. Yeah, Me too. Me too. But <clears throat> I'm going to forgive it because, like I said about the um, group, Give make something for another audience. Yeah. Don't try to piggyback kid stuff in the grown up stuff. Just I can make a kid all the stuff. Make I a kid show. Yeah, I can always see all the stuff I don't like in that last Guardians movie is gonna be in this. Cool, cool. That's why you ain't gotta watch it. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want no complaints because it ain't for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? Hey, you know I throw my hands up because I can't. If you make this for another demographic that's not me, and I hate it. I can't get mad because it right. ain't for me. You right. <laughs> now, if you make something that say, okay, this is your stuff, and then you put some BS in there, hey, all right, please complain. I want to hear that because I'm, <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going hard. I'm going to let you go okay. first because right. I got a lot of stuff to say on right, stuff right. like that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's our Marvel slate, man. Um, where we at? All right, we got about 30. Yeah, we still good. So, all right, so the, the Marvel – the Marvel slate is uh it's got some good stuff. Um uh, the shows that they promised, uh they taking long, but I'm kinda cool because it looks like they doing a good job. So I'm not gonna be mad if they give me some good stuff. Yeah. They take long and it's a BS, I'm real mad. But the um Definitely gonna be making that Disney Plus worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired of waiting though, but <laughs> yeah. but yeah, the Marvel stuff, uh Marvel stuff looks promising. Yeah. Uh, so now let's jump on to the Star Wars stuff. 